This is the moment that Karen Hortado has long been dreading, packing to leave her home country, Venezuela, knowing she might never return. Pienso que ya estamos llegando, oye, al llegadero, pues. De verdad que no podemos sobrevivir aquí. Stealing herself to say goodbye to the husband she's loved for over 20 years. <laughs> every glance, every touch, treasured. Y no es fácil que, que por una situación como la que estamos viviendo. Tengamos que separar. Karen's family is being torn apart by one of the worst economic crises in the world. The family has heard that women are more likely to find a job in a different country. So, with just over $200 in her pocket, Karen has made the painful decision to go first. Yo espero que eso me alcance para mi destino, pues. Karen, a registered nurse, is one of over three million people who have fled Venezuela in the last three years. It's the largest displacement in the history of the Western Hemisphere. The journey often by foot, crossing rivers, hiking through mountain passes, most ending up here on this bridge. This stream of humanity floods out of Venezuela and washes into Colombia here on this side. And they carry just the things that they can, those that are most precious, like their children, some food, some blankets. Once a rich country, awash in oil money, now the economy is in free fall. Decades of corruption in their country have led to complete chaos. The fingers of blame are pointed directly at Venezuela's leaders starting with Hugo Chavez and worsening under his successor, Nicolas Maduro. And any dissent is met with an iron fist. The country's leader unleashing his security forces on anyone who dares speak up. More than 120 protesters dying in clashes last year. Much needed medicine growing increasingly scarce. And for food, people wait for hours in government lines, fighting over whatever morsels might be left. And as the people suffer, the leaders denying there's even a crisis. These days, most Venezuelans are now too tired, too hungry, too sick to fight the government. Some even forced to eat out of the trash. Here, starvation doesn't discriminate. Vanessa Posada and her husband Adolfo were once solidly middle class. They had a car, went on Caribbean vacations. Now the clothes they once wore in pride to work bear witness to the merciless hunger. When we first met them in the fall of 2016, they were already making sacrifices to survive. Both teachers, they could no longer afford their car. Hitchhiking hours just to get to work. Vanessa told the summer for students had fainted from hunger. No comen, expresan que están agotados porque ese día se pararon en la madrugada con su mamá a ir a hacer cola. No se concentran en las actividades, ya sea por hambre, fatiga. ¿Cuánto hace que no tomas leche? And when the food began to vanish, so did Vanessa's students. The upturned chairs on the desks, an unofficial roll call. But it's not just the students. At home, Vanessa and her husband would alternate eating dinner on different nights to make sure their son ate every day. A sprinkle of cheese brought a smile to his face. But now, two years later, 
Vanessa tells us they simply can't afford to buy that cheese anymore. Entonces ya ni pregunto, porque si no me alcanza para qué va a comprar, pues para qué va a preguntar el precio si ni siquiera mi sueldo alcanza para eso. She now works two full-time jobs and takes weekend work to help feed her family. With inflation expected to reach 1.3 million percent this year, food itself is often the best form of payment. Y la paga me dijeron que si quería el dinero o que me pagaban con con cinco kilos de azúcar y yo preferí el azúcar que el dinero. The middle class life she once knew now a distant memory. Es que me afecta mucho. Ser una profesional y que no tenga futuro. Aquí no hay futuro. For so many mothers, the burden of building a future elsewhere now rests on their shoulders. ¿Qué miedo tienes? Bueno, imagínate el miedo de, de estar sola. When we come back, we search for that one mother on her journey to find a better life. Got it? And we travel to a purgatory where we meet other women sacrificing everything just to keep their children alive. Stay with us. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.